Well, good morning and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. And we have made it to Thursday, March 12th, the feast day of St. Maximilian of Tabessa, a martyr and pat patron saint of conscientious objection. And today's gospel is from Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 31. Oh, all perfect squares and prime numbers. Who would have thought? In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while, and you will not see me, and again a little while, and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. When a woman is in labor, she is in anguish because her hour has arrived. But when she has given birth to a child, she no longer remembers the pain because of her joy that a child has been born into the world. So you also are now in anguish. But I will see you again, and your hearts will rejoice, and no one will take your joy away from me. On that day you will not question me about anything. Amen, amen, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Until now... You have not asked anything in my name. Ask, and you will receive, so that your joy may be complete. I have told you this in figures of speech. The hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures, but I will tell you clearly about the Father. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not tell you that I will ask the Father for you. For the Father himself loves you, because you have loved me and have come to believe that I came from God. I came from the Father and have come into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. His disciples said, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? A little bit lengthy, but that's a good gospel. Um... You know, Jesus has been, uh, he tells them about all their anguish. So clearly Jesus sees that his disciples are struggling right now. They're in deep anguish and despair because of what he's been telling them about this passion uh, that Jesus must go through in his death and resurrection and everything. And they're, they're, they're very upset about it. Um, so Jesus knows that. He can tell. He doesn't even need to ask them. He just goes straight into telling them, um, you know, that, that they're weeping and then they're going to mourn and, but then they will rejoice immensely. Um, so I think that's pretty, pretty, pretty important to take note of that Jesus knows any and all thoughts and actions before we even say anything or do anything. So he, he's in, he can anticipate everything and anything that we're going to say or ask or do. So I think that's pretty, pretty powerful. Um, and I think there's, you know, there's such a, a deep hope that comes um, from his analogies here. And I think it's a great analogy of the mother going through labor. Um, you're, you're in grief and anguish and fear, but then once that, once the moment that the, the child is born, then there's just immense joy that can never be taken away from you. Um, I have no idea what that feeling's like, not having children, but um, you parents out there would know that. Uh, so that's what Jesus is trying to tell us relative to every part of our life, if we're, if we're struggling. Um, and that's going to be the, the challenge today, pretty simply. Just learn to embrace and accept your struggles, knowing that all that deep-rooted pain and whatever it is, is going to eventually translate into remarkable and such peaceful joy. Um, but it has to be watered down uh, with patience, trust, hope, and faith in God that, that everything that we're asking of Him um, is uh, stuff that we believe is is for to help build his kingdom. So that's that's the challenge today. You know, learn to embrace and accept your struggles, knowing that God will bring it to complete joy that nobody can ever take away from you. All right. Have a great Thursday, guys. The week is almost over, so keep on trucking along. Goodbye and amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen.